Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And how powerful it is. It is eclipse season that begins right around the third of the month, a powerful two weeks when the ancients would say the veil between the worlds was especially thin. And this makes it that much easier to access the wisdom of yourself and of your ancestors to see the spiritual lessons playing out. Now, eclipses also like to deliver news a little bit by surprise sometimes. And it is that first solar eclipse that I am having my eyes on for you. It is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and groups you belong to. New friendships, new possibilities, new big opportunities can find you in the early part of the month. Now, with this energy, we also have this eclipse speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. Now, I'm very encouraged by that. I feel like that is uh, a feeling of a beautiful momentum. It is uh, an awareness of spirit. And it can also feel for some uh, magical, really, as if there is a higher energy that is helping you, leading you forward to connect with these very new people, to participate in new uh, group-related endeavors or opportunities. So this can be really lovely, really big, but it can also be really fun as well. Important to accept invitations because chances are you may end up connecting with someone who is a karmic contract in some way for you that is part of bringing in blessings in your life in the bigger picture for a long time to come. However, it is also going to be Saturn that is standing across the sky from this eclipse as well, which tells me that there might be a sense of some pressure. All may not be as ideal as you may hope, and I'm sorry to say it does happen, but sometimes with this it can feel like there's a power struggle with another person. Now, whether it is that there's something you really want to do, that you feel inspired to do, that your heart is calling you to do, but a friend has a whole other opinion, has resistance to that, look, it's up to you to decide how much you are going to take to heart any opinion. But also know with this energy that sometimes this can represent because there is a sense of discord or at least a, a sense that there needs to be compromise with a friend and you may not be willing to make that compromise. Because there is that, it actually leads you to expand your circle, to open yourself up, to see whom else it is that is in the world for you. And you may surprise yourself by realizing just how much support and how much love is on offer to you now. Now, whatever it is that does happen, if it does happen that there's a misunderstanding with a friend, don't worry about it too much because it is going to be this month that we will have Mercury retrograde, at least in part in this same friendship part of the sky. And so if it feels like there is misunderstanding, know that once we navigate into August, a lot will start to become more clear. Now, as we navigate two weeks later, right around the 18th is when we are going to have the lunar eclipse. Boy, this is a powerful one. There is a lot of energy, a lot of emotion with this. This lunar eclipse is happening hand in hand with Saturn. Pluto's not far away, right on the south node as well. There is a sense of closure with this, inherent in any lunar eclipse, but this is powerful closure at that. This is really a sense of knowing where a chapter is done and very strong emotion coming to the surface. And this eclipse will be speaking in harmony with Neptune though. That I'm very excited about because it does suggest that there's a sense of what it is that you can do, where you can take action to move things not only in a positive direction, but to have faith that things will work out in the bigger picture and they absolutely will. So this lunar eclipse is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. So it has to do with creative endeavors. And this could be a sense of what creative projects are working and what isn't. What pathway is going to get you to that place of feeling a sense of creative reward 
and what pathway maybe is no longer that pathway for you. This can also represent children that you want, children that you have. If it has felt as if there's been an ongoing matter with a child in your life, this can help bring a healthy resolution and take steps to create that much more of a positive future together with your child. If it is children that you want, this is going to be a powerful moment as well in terms of your understanding as to best get you there to that goal. Um, if it is children that you don't want, uh, keep in mind that this energy can sometimes indicate um, where there are mixed feelings around your own fertility or your own pregnancy. Um, I'm sorry to say it does happen, but it doesn't have to happen that way. If it is that you are not wanting to go that route, there are certainly things that you can do to make sure uh, that the energy works out in different ways for you. But this is an eclipse and eclipses can take you by surprise. And an eclipse like this does say that while there may be a particularly emotional situation, right, having to do with anything related to what you truly want, what you're passionate about, what you're truly hoping for in your heart of hearts, where it is that you feel you've given so much of yourself. Yes, the intensity is there, but so is that sense of perspective. And if you're willing to see the perspective, you actually end up empowering yourself to move yourself forward. And it is very possible that it is a partner in your life that is part of granting this healthy sense of perspective to you, raising the energy from an emotional place into a much more empowered spiritual place at that. Now, where it comes to matters of love, this eclipse is also going to speak to love because it has to do with what your heart desires. Uh, there's a sense with this of romance and flirtation and uh, pursuing the desires of your heart in all areas, including romance as well. If you're open to meeting someone new, look, this energy can be very powerful for connecting with someone, for feeling a sense of almost a faded attraction to another person. You do want to be a little bit careful because it is a very intense energy. But with Neptune there, there's a sense also of wanting to be swept off your feet, which could be there as well. It is a lunar eclipse. So a part of what it may actually be showing you is what you are really wanting, like in love, in a broader sense. Whether or not it works out in the bigger picture with this particular person, at least it'll help you to get honest about your own feelings about the love you desire in your life. For those of you who are just dating somebody, this can be very powerful energy for dating. You are either all in or for some, it's going to feel like you really are not. So in some ways, this can be very make or break energy. But the thing is that this can also be energy that suggests you working through something with this new person. And that in turn allows you to start building towards a more established bond with them. And if you are in an established bond, I feel like that Neptune, that Neptunian beautiful energy being supportive is going to help you that much more. It's going to ensure that whatever strong feelings are coming forward, there's a willingness for both of you to seek understanding, to seek a, a mutual sense of compassion uh, and a real sense that your partner now can add a needed love, a needed support and a needed focus on the spiritual principles playing out in your life now that can't help but bond the two of you that much more. What I love about this week for you, well look, there's so much here, but of course it's the eclipses. What else could it be? The eclipses are so powerful. That solar eclipse as we start the month really is what is going to open you up to so many new people and it is these people where there will be that much more powerful karmic contracts that are playing out. And because it involves the North Node, it means that this is energy, this is an eclipse that is helping you to move forward into a future that is filled with more love and wisdom than you've known before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.